welcome to Awakening the Blog. Today I would like to do some follow-up regarding the Twin Flame story and uh, the difference there is between Twin Flame and Soulmate. Uh, back in January 2015 I offered a conference about uh, twin flames and soulmates and uh, the different uh, possibilities of soul connection that we have with uh, different people I started off with the karmic relationships at the base of the pyramid because that's probably what we face most in our lives then um, I did a difference between um, in tune souls uh, that represent the next scale in the pyramid that refer to um, soul connections with other people that uh, resonate for a same uh, co-creative purpose they could be new people in our lives, new souls that we come across, or they can be old souls that we come across, that uh, come together to co-create something. They could be like uh, uh, souls that we encounter at our workplace, or uh, people we get involved for some working mission. Then uh, we encounter on the uh, next level, which is next to the top of the pyramid, we encounter the soulmates. As we keep on going up the pyramid, there's going to be less and less of those kinds of relationships. Therefore, I um, can say now that soulmates are the next level and there are not too many of those in our lives. By soulmates, I refer to the kind of souls that not only resonate at the same level but we um, have the same tendencies in terms of vision and mission in life we could uh, uh, like the same kind of philosophies the same we, we can have the same kind of personality tendencies um, we are inclined to like the same kind of things and they differ from the in tune souls in that there's a very very deep ancient connection that uh, comes from past lives and where we have already been together and have worked in many levels therefore we agree to come in this lifetime uh, in a very special connection to help each other out to uh, uh, come in this life to support each other in many many circumstances important circumstances not the superficial ones but the deep ones and obviously there's the twin flame that is in the top of the pyramid that um, at the soul level at the very deep soul level it is exactly our opposite match for the yin and yang when we come to the manifested level it is true we all come from the same source but when we uh, incarnate in the different dimensions we incarnate in the kind of energy that that uh, is managed by, th by that vibration and in the third dimension we have duality Therefore, when we come into duality, we come in pairs, yin and yang. And the twin flame would be the exact resonance for our yin or yang opposite. And there's only one of that. Yet, uh, as I've shared in my twin flame story, um, twin flames are the most difficult relationships we can encounter. And that is because twin flame we are talking about at a very high spiritual level kind of relationship and as long as the two 
either one of, of the two pairs or both or any of them are not uh, spiritually awakened or at least aligned in the spiritual path working in their inner processes and waking up um, well the rel relationship is not going to be what it's supposed to be which is a spiritual relationship it's not the human ego based love relationship this the purpose of twin flame is to awaken to unconditional love therefore uh, it is the the most difficult because we are so accustomed to the human type relationship and uh, um, when it comes to a spiritual relationship it can only be held in the, the spiritual realm yet the twin flame comes to heat, heat us in all the things we need to heal that is why it is so difficult because there's a lot of uh, suffering involved there could be a lot of uh, uh, surprises and a lot of uh, amazement in this kind of relationship because uh, uh, we tend to be attracted in ways that we cannot even understand and um, it, with each type of relationship in the pyramid we are getting prepared to hold the um, twin flame relationship um, level or dimension or vibration and obviously the closest to it is the soulmate relationship which is uh, very soothing um, it is very uh, rewarding because it matches uh, many of the soul level tendencies and also the personal the the ego based tendencies and the personal that mean the spiritual tendencies and so it is very rewarding I would say it is the bridge between the human uh, relationship <laughs> ego based relationship and the spiritual um, relationship which is it would be the the twin flame and I'd like to pinpoint out again that uh, one of the reasons uh, why twin flames are so hard is because we we look at them from the human ego based um, experience and uh, we want what we want from the human perspective we want uh, closeness we want attachment we want uh, desire passion and all those things and we um, cannot exactly uh, cultivate a twin flame relationship from the human ego needs and desires it is a spiritual relationship and we need to awaken to our spiritual self and learn to detach and learn unconditional love for that level of relationship to work for both in alignment with all that is and um, I would like to share something that happened uh, to me um, that really shook completely to the ground what I thought about twin flames and soulmates and I started doubting about it well um, back when I offered this conference about twin flame and soulmates um, as I was giving this conference I, my specialty was twin flame but um, I have only experienced through other people the soulmate kind of relationship and I wasn't too sure what it was totally about in my experience but in the experience of others and obviously as you know until we have our own experience we cannot really uh, pin down exactly what that is about so as I was offering this conference and I was talking about the, the, the soulmates I said oh, I, I sort of asked the universe I said oh I, I would love to have a soulmate relationship so I can understand it but you know it was like a wishful thinking and I let it go um, and I said well I it just crossed my mind I mean it's not something that I, I was uh, consciously asking for <laughs> uh, the thing is that I was not attached to it it just went through my mind and it just went away well two weeks after that um, 
I came closer to somebody that was uh, passing through my life. Um, and uh, we started communicating. There was a possibility of going to, out of the city uh, to visit the thermal, thermal waters. And uh, we went there with no expectation whatsoever. We just, you know, he had felt, I had met him a month before and I was looking, uh, you know, we were seeing each other almost every day because he was coming to the spa for some classes. And, uh, but I got sick and I was unable to really get in contact with, with him uh, at, a, at a personal level. After I was healed, we started talking and sharing. He always felt familiar. Uh, but it was that sense, you know, it's like, he feels familiar, how unusual, but eh, didn't pay much attention to that either. So there came the time that we, uh, we decided to go to these thermal waters and we started sharing a lot of our stories, a lot of our lives, a lot of our, the things we like. We started talking in the same language. We felt uh, um, very in tune, uh, very connected. Um, it felt, and I think it was both ways. I mean, he, he felt, I, I even asked him when we were sharing our stories that, have you ever met somebody that looks so much like you? We, we even have the same tendencies in our personality, sort of like we, wanna, we like to be alone or we, we like to read philosophy more than anything else and, uh, well, so many things. As we continued our exchange, you know, we would share things that either would surprise him when I would say something or I would be surprised when he said something because it's, oh my God, well, it was similar in that too and similar in that too and whoa, we were just very similar in many, many uh, profound things. And, uh, you know, I'm 52 now and it's like, okay, I... I have had um, half of a century to experience things and it's like this kind of synchronicity uh, it's not that it happens every day I mean I've been in my twin flame relationship for seven years and um, it's not like somebody has come across I've met many people but not somebody that comes across and it's like womb so focused in 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 this kind of exchange at the vibratory level that uh, vibrational level that would be so so empathetic so similar so um, we were both very surprised to find out that you know we would like certain things the same and we would share the same kind of thoughts and everything and it really felt very gratifying very satisfying it was like a it was like uh, sandable to my heart, sandable to my uh, soul. It was just amazing. Um, I can I can only speak about how I felt. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that he felt something like that too, but I'm not sure. I mean, he men experience things in different ways and um, based on on how they uh, grow up in, in terms of their connection to each other, to, to themselves and to their emotions. And um, one thing that uh, happened to me that confused me so much is that he was able to wipe out the intensity of my connection to my twin flame. And then when that happened and I was able to finally, after seven years of <laughs> that strange connection, to breathe and let go of my um, connection to him. He completely wiped out that connection. And I said, oh my God, I never thought something could, could really dismantle or wipe out my connection to this twin flame or what I thought it was a twin flame. And I go, I mean, was I mistaken? I mean, oh, wow, what? what, what? That was the tower card in the tarot for me. It's like, boom, everything went down. And it's like, I started questioning myself. And, uh, and so many doubts came to my mind. And was that the twin flame really? Or did I made it up? Or gosh, you know, 
when I feel so amazed and so wonderful with this connection, then I thought maybe this is the twin flame connection, not the other one. And uh, obviously, it, it, it was good to have that doubt. It was good to uh, fall down into pieces about what I created about my twin flame story, which it was not created. I experienced it, but all the ideas I ex I uh, extracted from my experience. So I held. That's why I've been uh, away for so long because I needed to process this. I needed to to really put things into perspective so I can um, understand from the rational perspective and my rational mind uh, what was really going on here. I mean, what was one experience, what was the other, and uh, whoa, it was so intense that, um, you know, I, I've had to retire for almost two months so I can work on this and process it and, and try to, to make sense of what happened. And uh, the one thing that I came across that helped me to put things into perspective is that indeed uh, my twin flame story, uh, my twin flame, uh, it is a twin flame. And the soulmate, uh, as I, at least as I have understood, uh, the soulmate was a soulmate experience. And um, the difference is that the soulmate, it is a connection between, as I mentioned before, the personal ego personality based uh, experience and also integrates the soul experience. So it is very aligned into the human and the spiritual, whereas the twin flame is very much spiritual <laughs> relationship mainly. And uh, what helped me understand that there was a difference was that with a soulmate, um, uh, I had a very soothing earth grounded connection, whereas with uh, my twin flame, I don't have that groundedness in the solid grounded earth connection, but just the spiritual one. And uh, um, mainly, you know, I had all these mystical experiences I've shared through the 12 chapter story that I shared before. And uh, everything was happening at the soul level with my twin flame. Um, and, and everything at the human ego personality experience was chaotic. There was no alignment whatsoever there. Whereas with the soulmate, there is a connection at the personality ego grounded earth material connection and as well as the spirit connection and that is how far i have gotten so uh, at, at least for now in understanding the differences there is between one and the other and uh, you know I, I feel so grateful that i was able to experience this this soulmate connection and uh, it just gave me so much joy to experience it uh, to tell you the truth, um, I prefer to have an um, intimate, closer relationship with the soulmates than with the twin flame until obviously the twin flame, uh, we are able to uh, vibrate at the spiritual level and manifest that complete spiritual level at the physical level. Meanwhile, because the, the road to get there is, um, could be very long and uh, arduous. Meanwhile, I think it's very soothing and very supportive to, to keep on offering ourselves um, this kind of uh, soulmate relationship. Uh, and in the other ones too, we have to work with them all in order to keep on going to the height and the top of the pyramid. We need to work through all of this different level of um, soul connections uh, because they are all um, uh, a teaching for us, a ground where we can develop and grow and open up to spiritual dimensions, which is where we uh, need to focus on. And so um, I just wanted to offer this experience because I'm sure many people doubt whether uh, 
one thing is a twin flame or a soulmate or the difference between it. This is what I have been able to understand so far. I'm sure there's a lot more that I need to process. Uh, but I was ready now to share this part of the story and uh, offer some insights for those who, who have this juggling between uh, what the understanding of soulmate and twin flame. And um, definitely there is a difference. And I hope uh, I've been clear about it and that this has been helpful for you and, and your journey. And please remember to subscribe to our uh, newsletter at awakening.goipass.com. You can place your comments directly in the blog or under the YouTube channel. I will mainly answer the questions that are placed on the blog. And you can also follow us uh, at our Facebook, awakening.goipass, that's G-O-Y-P-A-Z, as stated in this line under underneath and um, also we have a bilingual Twitter which is uh, G-O-Y-P-A-Z you can um, follow us okay thank you very much I hope this has been helpful and um, we'll meet in the next uh, video blog until then